against that fraudsters who disguise themselves as grant donors should face the rot of justice as their fraudulent activities has incurred economic hardship on the public. Uh, those that are presenting illegal grants to Nigerian grant community that they have grants and uh, all that and we don't have anything so we make sure that they either disburse what they promised uh, Nigerians or they don't involve the Nigerian masses. They within themselves they know that they don't have any grant yet they come to the Nigerian public to tell us that they have grant we should come to subscribe to it. Also speaking, the group women. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel thanks a lot for the visit a lot of things are going on in grand community these few times though we are waiting for madame jennifer she said on the 15th something will be done we'll talk about that one later now what is happening now what is on board now is that uh, a lot of publicity has been going on now there's a report on police uh, tv and it's really going viral, so we decided to bring it to us to listen. So let's just listen to it. The government has been urged to establish a regulatory body to oversee the activities of grant donors and the utilization of grants in the country. The charge was given by a coalition of the CEOs of non-governmental organizations under the auspices of All Grants Pressure Group of Nigeria in Abuja. Our correspondent, Christian Oda, who was there, filed in this report. The FCT chapter chairman of the group, Corbett Pascal Anyamu, stated that both NGO owners and some government functionaries who siphon grants meant for the public must be stopped and brought to book. Some of our leaders, I will not say all, are really not there for the masses. And most of all these works are being given to them to handle. And there is no way it to be given to them and to get to the people it's supposed to get to. I will not say outrightly that the government are not giving out this money to give to the masses or to the NGOs to give out to the people. He further mentioned that government should deal directly with CEOs of registered NGOs as they are in close relation with the public and disease from third party in the distribution of grants and palliatives. It is time we shout and cry out to our government to reach out through us to these people because I think we should have been the only means reaching out to the poor people in our society. NGOs, let all the NGOs be recognized and they get to the grassroots where the poor people are. On his part, a national executive member and chairman of the Benue State chapter of the group, Dr. Fred Idoko, opined that fraudsters who disguise themselves as grant donors should face the wrath of justice as their fraudulent activities has incurred economic hardship on the public. Uh, those that are presenting illegal grants to Nigerian grant community, that they have grants and uh, all that, and we don't have anything, so we make sure that they either disburse what they promised uh, Nigerians or they don't involve the Nigerian masses. They within themselves, they know that they don't have any grant yet they come to the Nigerian public to tell us that they have grant we should come to subscribe to it. Also speaking, the group women leader, Mrs. Jamila Suleiman, and the group patroness, Mrs. Ophelia Celestina, holds that regulatory body should climb down on grant handlers who demand exorbitant rates from the recipients. And because they have been deceiving the masses, when we come out to all us, I have the grants. And the masses, because of the level of poverty in this country, we don't, the masses doesn't have choice to follow them because everyone, everybody wants to take good care of his family. Whatever they said, the masses keep falling a victim. Scammers who call themselves uh, grant handlers. We have uh, people come up and say they have grants and blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, they start demanding money, come for registration. People pay through thin and thick to subscribe for that grant. So we want the government to really have a regulating body towards that so that if there is any grant handler, he has to register with them. He has to be known. They appeal that the law enforcement agencies should go after grant handlers who pose to have grants only to reap the masses and refuse refund of registration. Registration funds in Abuja, Christian order Nigeria Police Radio. Now we don't know where this is coming from. We don't know who sponsored this news. Whether it's All Grand Pressure Group or um, um, Grand Agitators that are agitating for press conference. But whichever way, it's a good development. But it shouldn't stop at that. We need more of this. We shouldn't stop at this. This is just a theoretical jamboree. What we need is disbursement. Yes, this these structures should be put in place. Yes, but things have gone beyond. Now they should disburse. Then alongside putting these structures in place, you know. So there are many updates here. See you on the other end. Bye for now.